This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good night, good night, Tracy Reuter. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful night? Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you for asking. Sure. Tell me what part of the world are you in right now? I live just outside of Denver, Colorado, a little bit south of the city. Did Anastasia connect us? Um, No, we connected in LinkedIn directly. Okay. So... Let me connect you to Anastasia, right? Because she's the connector of the connected. And uh, when we were over there, like she connected us to a ton of people. So I'll connect you to Anastasia. Yeah, Yeah, that sounds great. Oh, wonderful. That should be fun. Well, do tell me which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this specific time in history. Well, I uh, have been obsessed with social media for a long time. And so I've done, um, I just have a really great talent of building networks and meeting people. And that's how we ended up here. So who did you learn that from, that ability? I'm sure it started offline before it started online. (laughs) Yeah, I don't want to age myself because I've been doing social media since the days of MySpace. Um, (laughs) But yeah, you know, a lot of it is self-taught and then a lot of it is just, being curious and trying to learn as much as I can from great people. Hmm, That's intriguing. So, all right, so let's dig into that then. Who did you learn that ability to adapt really quickly from then? Change, if you would. Uh, Yeah, well, that that actually just comes from growing up. I I had a pretty traumatic childhood, and you had to sort of learn to um, either pivot and make things better, or it's kind of like sink or swim. And so I learned at a really young age how to swim. (laughs) Mm That's intriguing. So tell me how you help people online now. Well, so we help great businesses uh, get their messages heard. And so we use that, we do that with uh, Facebook and Instagram advertising. And we, um, we just help them avoid wasting money with bad campaigns and help them get better results and and reach. Facebook is good at taking people money, isn't it? (laughs) You know what? They really can be, especially if you don't know what you're doing. It's um, it's kind of the evil that I fight against every day is trying to help companies not lose money, but actually it's kind of like Las Vegas, right? The house always wins. Yeah, <laughs> so. definitely. Yeah, definitely. So why will you continue to be this person? I mean, things are changing as you indicated. I mean, it feels like every second. Uh, why will you continue still to be that person that adapts and, you know, bob and weave, if you would? Well, I mean, it's just, it's one of those things I feel so passionate about what we do because I I was raised, um, I had an uncle that came from Greece who really was poor and I watched him create a a million dollar empire out of nothing. And so I just feel like it's important for me to keep my skills sharp, to be able to serve people like my uncle because his success changed our family. And I know my superpowers can help change that CEO or entrepreneur's family. So it's just, it's kind of like giving back. Hmm, Love it. Well, where's the best place for someone that's listening to connect with you? Right now, I would say it's Instagram. I'm a little bit obsessed with Instagram, so I'm over there a lot. That's the, that's probably the fastest way to get to me. And what's your handle at Instagram? It's Tracy Reuter, T-R-A-C-I-R-E-U-T-E-R. Love it. Well, do tell me one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years, please. Well, I would say outside of business, I think the thing I've done most consistently the last three years is I have, I've worked on myself. I've, I've invested a lot of time and money on getting my um, inner mental game, my emotions, um, and just working through that kind of stuff. It's made such a huge impact. Hmm. So tell me more about your superpower. Like when you said that, like it felt as though, yeah, you're into this thing, right? What's, what's your superpower? Well, it truly... Um, I can take a look at a business and I can very, very quickly see, like I can almost literally see it like I'm watching a movie. I can see the path that they need to take to get um, their business in front of the right people and how to message it. And so uh, I used to think, I used to actually joke that it was a curse, uh, but I've realized it's actually a blessing because not everybody can do that instinctively. Hmm. How does it make you feel? How does it make you feel to have been the person that probably looked at it as a curse to now seeing it as a blessing? How does it make you feel? (laughs) Well, it definitely, you know, it definitely makes you feel good when you realize that it's not a curse and that it is valuable. Um, It's, uh, it feels really good. I think the only time it doesn't feel good is when I, 
I just have this, I want to help everybody and I can't. <laughs> so that's the only time it doesn't feel good, but it is, it's really, it's pretty awesome now that I've realized it's a good thing. So there are many other people that are listening that have such a talent that may actually be thinking that it is a curse. Why would you suggest to them that they revise or even probably just change angles at how they're looking at their superpower? Well, the, the person um, that helped me realize that it, it wasn't a curse helped me realize that not everybody thinks this way and that it really is a unique gift. And so if you can, if you can kind of step back and realize that. Not, again, not everybody thinks like this. In in you're wired in a certain way to be able to make an impact on the world. And so if you think it's a curse, you'll never use it to make an impact. So that was kind of a big wake up call for me, and I hope it would be a wake up call for you if you're if you're like me. Hmm. Love it. Again, amazing audience here at live from Tracy Reuter. Tracy, <laughs> let's switch gears for a moment. Let me invite you now into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful warm blue Caribbean water. Tracy, what is your earliest childhood memory? Well, the thing that I can remember the most, I, I don't know how old I was. I was probably younger than three years old. I remember um, going to get donuts with my father. I, I just have a, a memory of sa Saturday mornings getting donuts and thinking that was the best thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you think this memory sticks out so clearly? I, you know, I don't, I don't really know. I think back then it was, um, I think it was a big treat. You know, I, I'm the daughter of, um, my parents were both factory workers. We didn't have a lot growing up and it just seemed like such, um, just such a fun thing to go off and do with my dad. And, um, yeah, I'm not sure why it stands out, but that's, that's the one that I can remember, um, that I think is the, the earliest. How do you see that memory connecting to who you are today? Well, I can tell you that um, still today, I love experiences. I love adventure. Um, and it's just, a, you know, it doesn't have to be anything major. Just anything that's out of the ordinary and fun brings me so much joy. So I think that was something that was, you know, probably, I was probably born with. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind with that memory? I'd love it. Yeah, please. I, I just love the fact that and I'm going out here, right? This is like super creative, right? In my mind, right? Like, all right, so I'm going out here. Can I go out here? Can I? Yeah, Can yeah, I? go all for right. it. It's go for it. The go donut, it. right? Just like to see what's, what, what a donut is made up of. I mean, it's, it's, it's an empty space, right? It's a circle, but it, it's, it, it gives you the opportunity to truly focus. And you spoke about your superpower being that ability. Like when you were speaking about it, like I saw Superman with the laser eyes, right? Like being mm -hmm. able to just like, or uh -huh. his vision eyes, his extra eyes, if you would, to be able to just see through that circle of everything that's pluff and nice and sugary and sweet to focus on what's important. So again, it's far out there, but it's what I thought. No, of. no, that's good. That's good. I'm, hey, I think that kind of thing is, uh, is awesome. I love that interpretation. Thank you. I think you could be right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. If we fast forward to when you were 12 years old, what was your favorite song? You know, that's a great question. I, I really, I have no idea. Um, I, I listened to a lot of music when I was a kid, but I, nothing, nothing jumps out. Um, I was a cheerleader. And so, you know, we were always listening to music to do routines to, but not one song in particular. Although I will say I was obsessed with Michael Jackson. Okay. Totally obsessed. Yeah. Yeah. What song from Michael? Beat it. Um, well, yeah. My favorite album is Off the Wall. Um, I would listen to that one over and over and over again. Um, but I did have the glove. I had the the um, the sparkle glove, Sweet. so it, thriller as well. <laughs> Sweet, love it, love it. All right, my I, might, I might be aging myself there, but no, that's you're the truth. good. You're good. <laughs> There are still people that dance to Michael. That's true. And they should, and they should. <laughs> and they should. All right, well, we've arrived at our destination. But before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no, possibly a bit more. We're going to move pretty quickly here, though. Are you ready? I'm ready. Tracy, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? I'm trying to, yes. Uh, my younger brother, um, I've, I've recently brought him into the company and have been training him to start to think more and more like me and teach him what I know. Hmm. Are you married? I am, yeah, for almost 25 years. Wow. Give us a secret, <laughs> please. <laughs> oh, the secret. Just um, trip over yourself to put the other person first. Hmm. 
Wow, that's beautiful. All right. Even if it means taking them for donuts every Saturday morning. That's, that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. All right. All right. So do you have children? Well, no, we don't have any. Just just um, fur babies. Definitely two dogs. Definitely count, right? They definitely yeah. count. Oh, they do. do. Do you believe in God? Oh, absolutely. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Um, a very close one. Yes, very close. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Um, who has time for that? <laughs> How about three hours a week? <laughs> yeah, for sure. What about for screen sure. time, the phone and the other computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? Well, because my business is, is social advertising, I'm on it a lot. So it is definitely more than eight hours. All right. If you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents Tracy Reuter, what would you say that is? Oh, that's so hard to say a statement. I guess it would be, I would probably want to say that my statement would be that you are wicked awesome. Mm, love it. Tracy, this was a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? No, I just would say if you want to connect more with me, come on over to Instagram, come into my world. I love, love, love meeting new, amazing people. Love it, Tracy Ryder. Thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. This segment has been brought to you by Amazel Enterprise.